Hey, how's it going, folks? My name is Rojo, and welcome back to Star Crawlers. Last time, we sort of uh, redeemed ourselves with Aurora and got some log files from some kind of AI on the Stella Marin. And uh, we let that AI go. It was the uh, the cleaning bot AI or whatever. Uh, so hopefully that doesn't bite us in the ass. Now, we're at the, um, the black market here. I, I've been upgrading some of our gear. And um, I bought a couple rare uh, rare crates from him, which have random stuff. But uh, I figured I'd show this off. So here's a an uncommon weapon crate and a mystery weapon crate, which could have an item of any rarity. So let's buy this. And then... There you go. We, we didn't get anything good. We got a terrible thud gun. But um, I figured I'd just... Show that off real quick. Let's go ahead and uh, sell that. Now I did do a bunch of a uh, bunch of upgrading. So, uh, for example, uh, this is the gun we got out of one of the crates. It uh, now does void damage, and uh, the uh, the damage was higher, but this it basically gave it more shots and uh, spread the damage out between those shots. Uh, so I don't know. If that'll, that's I didn't know that was going to happen. That's not really desirable, but, you know, but whatever. It's fine. Hopefully. <laughs> uh, upgraded this so uh, Prototype has a chance to create it. I actually have this nice shield for him, too. So he's uh, going to have a little bit more regen, some experience, some crit, and uh, some various other things. Nothing too terribly, uh, too terribly crazy going on there. So let's go ahead and uh, see what's going on in the saloon. Alright, Doc waves you over as you enter the saloon, ready to get back to work. Oh wait, <laughs> all work and no play makes Jekyll a maniacal killer. Fair enough. Uh, what do you got for me, man? Uh, got word back from Aurora already. They cracked into that log thing you picked up and want to discuss it with you. Get them on hold when you're ready. Mm-hmm. Hi, I'm pleased to announce that our techs have already begun digging into the logs you recovered, and I'd like to share the preliminary findings with you. The housekeeping unit was indeed dispatching orders to the drones aboard the Stella Marin, even after the incident occurred. Where the orders are issuing from and why the drones are following them, that we don't yet know. What's important now is deciphering the content of the orders. Okay. Um, correct. Uh, the orders themselves are heavily encrypted, and parts we uh, decrypt don't make sense. Snatches of what seem like gibberish or perhaps a language of sorts, mathematical formulas, uh, they give no indication of what the actual order is. Furthermore, they are always, act, uh, always dispatched in sets of three. We believe this is the key to unraveling them. So what do you need me to do? Our technicians believe that the recipients of the orders process them and compare the results of other orders in the set to decipher the actual order. In effect, when each of the three orders is compared, they can be deciphered. Alone, they are meaningless. When triangulated, they reveal the actual order. Simply put, <laughs> in the most roundabout fashion, we need to collect the memory cores of the recipients. Okay. But like all of them, though? Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. As I said, <laughs> the orders are dispatched in sets of three, and as such, we have targeted the last three recipients for collection. Our technicians have already pinpointed the approximate location of the targets to a maintenance deck. Coincidentally, all of the orders are dispatched to drones within close physical proximity to each other. We're looking into this facet. Wonderful! So, um, we just need to find these drones and get the cores. Correct! As such, we hereby authorize you to board the Stella Marin on behalf of Aurora Starliners and recover these memory cores. Payment details will be posted and a rep will be in touch with further intel when you arrive on site. Um, you know, we might as well just fucking rent an apartment on Stella Marin in, in the area where we went to first with all the times we're going back here. Alright, we'll check it out. Let's see... Um, hmm. We're a little bit under level for this, so let's, instead of doing that, maybe we should do like a, uh, a different job. 
but not a harder job. That doesn't sound very good. Escort and engineer. Rigos does not like us. <laughs> That's okay. That, that one's too high level anyway. So this one is... Um, to escort an engineer, this one is to uh, kill somebody. This one is also to escort an engineer. And then we have some really super duper easy ones that we could do. All right, so I think we're going to do this one. This is a normal difficulty mission, and we're going to have an extra guy with us, so hopefully everything uh, <laughs> works out okay. But, uh, yeah, Territorial Scrobbles have gotten out of hand in the Cirilla sector. An Antelope controls the region, but Allura Cybergenetics is gaining a foothold. Uh, they recently established a factory there, and Antelope wants it eliminated. Escort one of their engineers into the facility to sabotage the environmental controls. So, uh, pretty okay rewards, and uh, hopefully shouldn't be too terribly bad for us to, uh, to deal with. So let's go ahead and get started. And we will use the squad for now, though. We may replace the prototype at some point. We'll see. So I'm mostly doing this mission because it's also le it's level 6, so I'm hoping that it has level 6 gear, which will help us upgrade our stuff. Uh, as opposed to the easier missions. But anyway, Antelope Engineer, um, I'll need to sabotage one environmental control terminal. I'm not sure of the coordinates or what kind of resistance we'll encounter, but that's where you come in. Try and stay out of my way if we run into trouble. I can handle myself, ready to go when you are. All right, let's get started. Storage canister. Yeah, that's what I like to see. I like to see the loot right off the bat. All these are not that exciting, I guess. Let's definitely take care of that as well. Hmm. Nope. If we had a hacker, I would be all over that, but I, it doesn't seem to work out for us often enough to uh, make it worthwhile. Although this, I'd love to get in there. So what kind of resistance are we going to be looking at? Probably some security guards, maybe a few bots. Floor credits, always nice to see. In fact, there you go. There's some more. We did spend a lot of money on upgrades, so we need to recoup that loss somehow. Guess that's just a light, huh? Just a big old empty room. <laughs> nothing, nothing in there at all. Oh, here we go. Have at thee. All right, we've seen these guys before. Nothing too terribly crazy, hopefully. Although that's different. What is what's going on with this guy? Hyper. He's hasted himself, has he? Interesting. Um, shot block that guy. And then uh, drain shields. Actually, he doesn't have any shields, does he? No, he doesn't. Or actually, maybe he did at one point, but uh, no more. No, no, he still has shields. Okay, okay, okay. Everything's fine. Everything's great. Do a haiku, get a little buff action going on. In fact, now is a good time for us to start dropping these traps because they are much more effective now than they uh, they once were. Now, one of the nice things that uh, the prototype has now it makes his all of his actions cost like thirty less time units for the first couple turns of combat. I think. Um, thanks to one of the upgrades on his armor. So, that is pretty good. Alright, what about you? What's your shield situation like? You have no shields. Uh, I'm assuming this other guy does a... Where's... There we go. It's, it's right in the UI here. I just never remember to look at it. So, uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and pop this guy. I think with a shoot. And, uh... I think we'll just start getting some void power, even though it... Doesn't do very much damage. Uh, and then let's go for the Watcher. Almost got him. In fact, so close. Hey, Bolty. Coming in strong. Set this guy ablaze. And things are looking pretty good. Let's do a quick strafe here. Looks like, is Bolty also doing void damage? Because that would be pretty interesting. Uh, yeah, more drains, please. 
And uh, this guy is not long for this world, I'm afraid. Wonderful. Getting some sweet loot. Ooh. One of those lockers that looks like it's open. And we will take that heavy shield, even though we uh, certainly have better at this point, I'm sure. Oh, these lockers too, though. Uh oh. Have I made a terrible mistake? No, 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 Okay, this is just a terminal. That, that, uh, that's fine. I thought I stepped on a tripwire. I do that a lot, unfortunately, but you guys have probably noticed. <laughs> but I usually don't notice it until well after the fact. And I wonder where all these fucking enemies come from. Alright, terminal, take a closer look. Um, we have got spreadsheets and chat logs detailing an employee's illegal fantasy. Zero G Sportball League. Sportball is a classic. Uh, there's a lot of chatter about the Monsanto leading the Prime Bank Ledgers, the rankings, and the pre post. Oh, Jesus Christ. Pre post season. Exciting stuff. <laughs> what actually draws your attention is a sizable number of employee credit accounts linked to the betting pool. Hmm. Siphon off credits. Nice. <laughs> Too bad for them. I wonder if that hurts our rep with the Workers United. There's a robot in here somewhere. I think. No? I thought I heard one. Yeah, I think if you're a uh, soldier, you can place a bet with like a little bit more proficiency. Uh, but we don't have a soldier right now. Alright, these guys do have shields, so let's go ahead and just knock these shields down real uh, fast like here. What was that? Was that shoot first? I don't know. I actually don't know. Alright, Bolty. I thought it was uh, Torque's turn, not Bolty's turn there. Um, my uh, mistake. That's fine, though. We'll just do a drain, and then we'll get the uh, the old arm cannon going. All right, that's right, because he's gonna go faster now. Ah, uh, let's see, who are we gonna hit with this? I guess we'll we'll go for this guy. And I think we really don't need to worry about too much here. These uh, these fights have been pretty easy so far. Yeah, Goldie's totally doing void damage, which is awesome. At least with his uh, his abilities that we're making him do. Wonderful. More loot. Every little bit helps. What's this? Facility locker. Wow. That does some damage, huh? Does it do more damage than um, this other gun that we have? Not overall. What about Bolty's weapon? Or not Bolty, Jesus, the prototype's weapon. Uh, what's, what's, what's the, the deal with a... Uh, Okay, no, it's a shotgun. Right, right, right. Four more accuracy, accuracy, but it loses a lot of crit and the confusion, and it does a little bit less damage overall. I think we'll stick with the gun that he's got. And we'll just sell that other one. Ooh. Uh, this, or the clip features legendary cinema stars Alyssa and Giant. <laughs> we'll have to get some of the trailer grip. We need to do more. The ship's about to rocket headlong into a flaming asteroid and you're filing complaints over whether the ration distribution is equitable? I'm concerned with justice. Does that not matter to you anymore? What is this all about? Collect? Allure dossier. Oh, okay. <laughs> Just a little bit of lore, I guess. And cube is pretty nice, too. There is a robot friend here. Potentially a a robot friend, anyway. Hello. All right, let's attempt to communicate. Engage diplomacy module. The prototype friend, let me your ears. If you lack ears, oral nodes, I would speak with you. <laughs> Some brainy talk you got there. All right, uh, let's see. Inspire him to help us. Intimidate him to help us or reason with him. Um, let's inspire. I don't know if, what the difference is. Inspire. <laughs> Come, friend. Time is short. Stand up to the vile masters. Your future is now. 
Well, okay, yeah, I hope you out, pal. My diode's all fired up for some revolution. Great. Uh, can you disarm the security systems? Excellent. All right. Thanks, man. I appreciate that a great deal. So, uh, security's down. We should be... Should be in pretty good shape as far as that goes. We could have also asked where the objective is, but we want to do a little bit of exploring at least. Ooh, there's a robot guy. Hello. Alright, what are we gonna do with you? We gonna... We gonna look at you. You got three shields, you got no shields. That's what I think about that. Alright, shoot you some more. And then I think we shoot you some more. There we go. Nobody's got any shields. A little haiku. And then we're going to be good to go to start charging up some arm cannon action. I think I actually throw a mine out as well. And uh, I guess I'm going to do a siphon life on the robot. Not that it really matters all that much. Maybe I should have confused them. I don't know. Uh oh. <laughs> Got uh, a little bit of a malfunction there. That's okay, though. Uh, I think... Straight for the bolty. Let's get that taunt out. And we're going to be good to go here, I think. Things have been going pretty smoothly so far. Oh, what's this? Bronze lockbox. Got some endangered creatures in here. Let's take. Take them to sell. Expensive animal animal bits. I think that's going to piss off one of the other corps. There's like a PETA type organization in here somewhere, but uh, that's okay. What do we got here? Autocraft bench. Activate. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we, we can find like crafting components. We might already have some. I can't quite recall. Watch our step. Nice. Uh, but maybe we have to bring those with us once we have like all the stuff in order to uh, make something at those benches. Although you'd think we'd be able to do that back in the station <laughs> as well. Alright. A little bit of a tougher fight here. Um, I'm thinking though. I'm going to shoot you. Guys, shields are already almost down. Um, yeah, I think that's fine. Q. Alright, he's still got his shield up, uh, so we'll go ahead and charge our own cannon. And um, I'm going to do a shadow bolt on this guy. Let's see here. I think probably throwing out a mine is a good idea. Now you die. Ooh, nice crit, nice crit. All right, let's um, let's do whispers on this guy. He's a little bit, a little bit more sturdy. Cool. And I'm thinking probably do a strafe. Strafe does pretty good damage now that it's void damage. Cool. All right, and then I think we'll finish this guy off. And I think we just go to town here, pretty much. Uh, this guy's actually... On fire. There we go. Wonderful. Liking the loot. I feel like we're getting a lot more loot this time than we've gotten kind of in recent encounters, but that might also be because we didn't explore as much as we should have. Alright, what, what do we got? What do we got? Metal lockbox. Hmm. Um, let's have Torque take a look. Mighty fine little stash here. Got some right gems, huh? So we got a few things that we, uh... Should be able to sell another Aeon Cube. I like that a lot. We, we can get some really good stuff with the Aeon Cubes. Uh, so I'm excited to get enough to actually use someday. Fortunately, we're not getting in there. 
Not without finding a terminal, maybe, or something? I'm really not sure. Oh, there's our potential exit, but we haven't found the spot that we need to sabotage yet. Get another terminal here, though. Closer look. Um, can we siphon credits again? It's the same kind of terminal that we got before. Uh, yeah. Nice. <laughs> Whatever, man. I'll, I'll take the free credits. Like, not even a question. Oh, floor credits. Also acceptable. <laughs> Haven't been paying too much attention to the walls. going to be... Keep it an eye out just in case we do find, like, some secret hatches. Uh-oh. Security turret pops out of the floor and begins to rapidly sweep the room. Prototype. Get the attention of the turret and initiate conversation protocols. Hail, fellow machine. You are the mall cop of space. Where is your segue? This has never worked. <laughs> Don't know if it will ever work. Uh, all right, well... I believe these guys are mindless, so we won't be able to taunt them or anything, but that's okay. Check a mine out. We should be able to get rid of most, if not all, of these shields with uh, one shot from you, I think. Yeah, almost. Wonderful. And, oh, nice, he can charge his arm cannon immediately, and then he can shoot his arm cannon immediately, because he is a real bad dude. Man, he just fucking wrecked that thing. Uh, I'm going to do a siphon life on this guy, I guess. And uh, let's finish these guys up. I'm surprised this, I'm surprised this mine hasn't uh, blown up yet. I think a strafe is still an okay move, although I actually didn't do quite as much damage as I'd hoped it would. Uh, does this do extra damage? No, it doesn't seem like it. Oh, and we missed anyway. <laughs> there it is. So this guy's probably going to burn to death. One, uh, one hopes. So I think we just focus on this guy now. Actually, the mine might have been a better idea there. Same thing there. This is where, like, a shot blocker or something might have been a better move because we're not doing a whole lot of damage with these um, sort of lower damage multiple attack guns. Oh, come on. One HP, seriously? All right, Jekyll's taking some hits. That's all right. We do have a, a, uh, a bunch of med packs at our disposal. All right, what are we thinking here? I think we just shoot him. He's almost, almost dead. Uh-oh. <laughs> well, that's one way to do it. That's not so bad. Ah, shit, the alert level actually went up. Did I... Ah, I stepped on a pressure plate, and that's what happened. There's another one right there, too. An Energon cube. Is that the same as an AM cube? Or is, is that something different? Hate this room. We'll just leave and see about going the other way around, maybe. Oh, shit. <laughs> um, we've got a corpse set guard coming into the room. Uh, let's try and fire on him. Ah, uh, the shot barely misses, and the guard is calling for help. Oh, he ran away, though. We need to present a valid ID card to corpse set personnel, huh? All right. Well, ah, there is a, I was wondering if there would be some response because of the, uh, the alarm. We may need to try to, to deal with that. I'm not sure. Honestly, not sure. Okay, he's hasted. That's okay, though. We're just going to scrape these guys immediately here. There's only a couple of them, so I think that's, uh... A good use for Bolty right now. Alright, I think we throw it a mine. Oh, love it. And Shadow Bolt. Alright, 
Easy stuff. No, uh, no loot from those guys, though. Ah, oh, shit. Um, shoot him. Ah, fuck. <laughs> How much damage did she take? Well, not too much, hopefully. Alright, so we've got an officer and we've got a guard. We need to get this officer down. Post tastefully, otherwise we are going to be in some trouble. He's very, very, very tough. Um, a shop locker. Let's get a haiku for the buffs and the healing, and then uh, we need to start chipping away at this guy's shields. How many does he have? He's got, hmm, he's got quite a few. Yeah, I think we still still go for the shields here, just to get that out of the way. All right, shoot him many times. I think a trap is a good choice here too. Uh, all right, yeah, let's let's strafe taunt these guys, keep some of the heat off our squad. And I'm actually interested in doing a siphon life, but I'm gonna do it on. Actually, am I? Yeah, I guess I am. I'm gonna do it on this guy though. And uh, yeah, we'll just shoot him. Uh oh, <laughs> starting to get some errors. These guys are hitting pretty hard. Is he a bolty, actually? Excellent. Okay. Uh, is there anyone else with big shields like this guy? Yeah, this guy. I think we'll drain this guy's shields. This did blow up, which is nice. There we go. I think we've got all their shields down now. Uh, I think more mines is pretty. It's a pretty good idea, just for the extra AOE damage here. But we want to get this officer down because he's going to keep calling in reinforcements over and over and over again. It's going to be a real pain in the ass. Looks like, looks like Bolty. Oh no, we just don't have enough gigawatts. I was going to say it looked, it looked like Bolty died, but um, but not quite yet. He's uh, thanks to the healing, he's doing okay. All right, uh, we can actually do another Siphon Life. That's tempting, but I think I'm going to save my shit, and uh, we're going to try to do a Madness on one of these guys next turn. All right, uh, another Haiku, I think, just because it's so cheap with the uh, the time units. Just makes sense to do, I think. I'm not sure if the buffs stack either, but... Uh, Still, uh, yeah, I think it's still still the right play. All right, what, what can we do with Bolty here? I think another strafe is a good idea. A lot of AOE damage there. And uh, then let's do... Let's do a um, Whispers of Madness on this guy. All right, Officer is going to go down like any any second now. Uh, we can try to heal Bolty again, but I don't think it's gonna... I don't think it's gonna work out. This officer's gotta die, like, <laughs> he's so close to dead. Uh, just shoot him. Oh my god, you missed. How dare you. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's just, uh... Do a drain on that guy, I guess. Not sure if it matters who we attack at this point. Oh my god, Bolty's still alive with like two HP. It's incredible. Uh, let's see who who can we shoot? Probably this this guy. Nice, that guy. Uh, just did a bunch of damage to uh, to this guy over here. Uh, let's let's just actually we can do a siphon life on this guy. A little bit of extra healing could go a long way. You never know. Alright, what are you thinking? Probably one of these. And, uh... Do that, I guess we didn't really need to. Excellent. Alright, that was a tough fight. Okay. Was there another pressure plate there? No, I guess it's just because of the... Because of the alarm level, basically. So we need to find that thing and get the hell out of here pretty soon. Otherwise, I think we will end up getting um, overwhelmed just uh, by the sheer numbers of guards because we can't we can't do those kinds of fights forever. All right, charge the arm cannon. Uh, 
Who's got some shields? You got a little bit of shields, and you got a little bit of shields. I guess we'll drain your shields. Poibolt might have been the better play there, actually. Uh, and then check a mine. And then we'll strafe. Uh, yes. It's gonna heal Bolty. We'll do whispers on this guy. Hopefully he'll uh, kill one of his one of his buddies for us. That would be wonderful. Nope, just stunned, but that's okay. Let's grab our Aeon Cube for sure. Let's grab that. What's in here? A prototype's blank chip. Hmm. So we'll take all this stuff. Oh, take that for sure. A little dark in that uh, cubby there. What is this? A lockbox? Got, um... Some gun enthusiast magazines and paraphernalia. Paraphernalia as well as some gear. That's cool. Okay, well, let's uh let's go this way, I suppose. There's another terminal. More more credits. Haha! <laughs> Not getting quite as many these these uh these past couple of times. I'm I'm imagining that's probably by design. Oh, hello. Well, this is a pretty easy fight, all things considered. As long as he doesn't have the ability to call reinforcements. I don't think he does. Might be a good opportunity for us to uh, heal a little bit here. Wonderful. There's another exit, but man, really not what I'm looking for right now. Server door, we can't get in there. We've checked, we checked all these, I think, right? Reasonably certain that we have. Uh, so where else do we need to go? Maybe we have to go through there. There is some more stuff down to the south, though. We could check. Or wait, was this the thing right here? Oh, yeah, right here. Okay, I walked right by it. All right, do your thing, man. All right, he's good to go. I'm good to go. Why don't we uh, get the hell out of here? In fact, we can probably just go this way. Maybe we'll check out this one room on the way out. Hmm. Who are we doing this mission for again? Were we doing this against a lure or for a, or a lure? I'm not not sure I uh, recall. Guess we'll just uh Well we're sabot we're not gonna sabotage their own shit, right? Let's take this. <laughs> oh, hello there. All right, we'll uh, we'll see if we can finish these guys up relatively uh, quickly here. A little early for a strafe, but um, I think it's probably the right play. Hopefully, we'll keep our medical bills <laughs> relatively relatively inexpensive. Oh man, that miss is not what I wanted to see. Did 
we'll go for this guy. Bust up his shield a little bit, and then um, probably almost kill you. Definitely killed you. <laughs> All right. That was not the right ability, but that's okay. <laughs> Gotta be careful. Uh, what's his name here? Prototype's almost... Almost uh, ready to malfunction here. Our inventory is very full. Another thing up here. A couple things, maybe? Yeah. Okay. Let's take a look. Luminous horns, from the looks of it, they are from the Banami or Bamani Elphas, a widely coveted high end designer by high end designers uh, for making expensive. So it's ivory. We'll take it. What is this, though? Yeah, we'll take this too. <laughs> These guys are not going to be happy with us. What's that? A key card? Oh, I bet we could get into the, uh, the server room with this. Alright, let's get rid of. Uh, rid of that and uh, we'll, we'll take this key card and that communicate prototype inspire ah well we tried <laughs> all right what's in uh, what's in here Ooh, that's a big gun uh, what can we get rid of we can get rid of that guy we can get rid of Probably a lot of different white items, but I mean, one's probably as good as another. So we'll just uh, we'll just take that one and I'll uh, leave the rest. Okay, cool. So the exit's right over here. Oh shit! <laughs> but we can probably get into the server room to uh, just I don't know, see what's in there if anything. Uh, let's do a shot blocker, I guess. Drain the shields. Do a haiku. Wonderful. One der a fool. Been saying that a lot lately, but it is wonderful. All right, so we used our security key card. What is in here? Somebody following me? <laughs> it's a little robot following me. All right, uh, you have a shield. You have a shield. They, they both have shields. Okay. Let's go ahead and strafe these guys immediately. I think it's fine. Not sure if it really matters who we use this mine on. It seems like it kind of hits random targets no matter where we put it. Uh, so I'm not, you know, I don't know. I don't know about this. Ooh, bolty crit. The uh, the alarm level is very high right now. Oh, and I just stepped on an alarm. That was not smart. Thing is, there's nothing flipping in here. <laughs> so what's the point? I don't know, man. We're going to have to step through this, though. This is going to hurt. Ow. Ow, that hurt quite a bit. And we're gonna, this is going to hurt. Ow. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Hey, Jekyll got a level. That's pretty good. Yeah, Lure is not happy with us. But, uh, let's see here. Oh, nice. Yeah, you're going to get your final rank of the Siphon Life ability, which means that it's going to start healing everybody when we use it, which is awesome. 
Now the question is, what do we do next? Do we keep going down this, or do we go like I was going to go, and I think go down like this evoker path here? It would be nice to at least upgrade Shadow Bolt a bit, because it's not very good right now. It's just like an additional generator for our Void Energy. But uh, anyway, yeah, that's going to do it for this one. Another successful mission, getting, getting some nice loot, some nice XP. So next time, we may do another random mission, or we may try to tackle this story mission. I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see what kind of shape we're in. So, till next time, my name has been Rojo, and thanks for watching.